Hello everyone, in this video we are going to discuss that how we can calculate the tangent length, long chord, external ordinate, middle ordinate and length of a simple circular highway curve when the basic data of the curve is given to us. So let's discuss about the tangent length of simple circular highway curve first. Recalling the basic sketch of the simple circular curve. We know that this is the deflection angle, the angle that is being uh, substantiated between the back and forward tangent. And from the basics of the geometry, we know that the central angle substantiated by the curve will also be the deflection angle. And if we draw a exactly vertical line between point O and PI, then this total deflection angle can be divided into the two half of the deflection angle. So this tangent length should be calculated when the basic data of the simple circular curve should be given like radius and deflection angle. So this tangent length can be calculated by considering this right angle triangle, the one which is being shown with the red line O, P, C, P, I, O. So considering this right angle triangle, this tangent length is actually the perpendicular of this right angle triangle and another thing that we know which is actually the radius is the base so we are going to use a trigonometric relationship that contains perpendicular and base and we all know that is 10 so 10 phi by 2 would be equal to perpendicular on base so t over r so by cross multiplying then we will be having the relationship of tangent length in terms of radius and deflection angle of the simple circular curve. So this is the basic equation of calculating the tangent length. Now let's discuss how we can calculate the long chord of simple circular highway curve when we know the basic data of the simple circular curve. I am calling the same sketch of the simple circular curve. So this is the long chord I am talking about, the distance between PC to PT. So this distance can be calculated by considering this right angle triangle, the one which is being shown in the red line. So in this right angle triangle, if we can calculate this side, that is actually half of the long chord. So then multiplying 2 with this side, we can have the length of the long chord then. So considering this right angle triangle, where perpendicular is required and hypotenuse is radius. So we are going to use a relationship that contains perpendicular and hypotenuse and we all know that is sine. So sine phi by 2 would be equal to the required side divided by the radius. So then the required side would be equal to r sine phi by 2. Now that is one side so multiplying this side with the 2, we can have the length of the long chord. And again, you can see that the, the formula of the long chord is in terms of radius and the deflection angle. So these two are the basic data. And if we know them, then we can calculate the long chord of the simple circular highway curve. Now the next distance, external ordinate, recalling the same sketch. External ordinate is actually the distance from PI up to the mid of the simple circular curve, the one which is being shown with the yellow line. Again, we need to have the relationship of external ordinate in a such a way that uh, the variable should be radius and the deflection angle. And we know that the distance from center of the curve to the midpoint and the curve would be the radius. So then by considering this right angle triangle, the same that we have considered for the tangent length, we can have relationship for the external ordinate. So considering the same right angle triangle. And in this right angle triangle, base is radius and hypotenuse is combination of external ordinate and radius. So now we are going to use relationship that contains base and hypotenuse and that is cos. So cos 5 by 2 would be equal to r over e plus r. Simplifying further as we want to calculate e so by cross multiplying and we want to calculate e so keeping e on one side and sending the other term on the right hand side and simplifying further now cos 5 by 2 is multiplied here and if you want to shift on the other side so we need to divide it on the right hand side so simplifying further then we will be having the relationship for the x ordinate in this way and we know that 1 upon cos is actually equal to sec so x ordinate can further be simplified as again in this relationship we can see that 
external ordinate is in terms of radius and deflection angle. So if we know both of them, then we can calculate the external ordinate. Moving on for the next distance, that is the mid ordinate and calling the same sketch, mid ordinate can be seen in the sketch with a yellow line and that is the distance from the mid of the long pod to the mid of the curve. So we want to calculate this distance and we know that uh, the distance from center to any point on the curve would be the radius and at the mid of the curve will also be the radius. So again using uh, the right angle triangle that we have used in long pod, this right angle triangle I'm talking about, we can calculate mid ordinate. So consider Considering this right angle triangle, where now this side is required, which is actually the base of this right angle triangle. So base and hypotenuse, so that is cos. So cos phi by 2 is equal to the required side over r and by cross multiplying then the required side would be r cos phi by 2. And from this geometry, we know that the radius it comprises of middle ordinate plus this base of this right angle triangle. So the base of the right angle triangle has been now calculated. Now then the middle ordinate would be then the difference of radius and the base of this right angle triangle. So now putting the value of this unknown side in this equation of middle ordinate and simplifying further we will be having the equation for the middle ordinate again in terms of radius and deflection angle. Moving on to the last distance, which is the length of the simple circular curve. Now length of the simple circular curve, which is actually the distance from PC to PT measured along the curve. So as we know that this is actually a part of a circle and we know the basic formula to calculate the length of any segment of a curve if we know the central angle subtended by that curve. So the formula for that is L is equal to R phi radius of the curve and the central angle subtended by that curve but uh, the angle in this case is in radian so we need to convert into the degree so from the basics we know that pi radian is equal to 180 degree then by converting this radian into degree then the formula for the length of the curve will be pi r phi over 180 and again we can see the equation contains two variables which are radius and deflection angle. So from all the distances that we have calculated in each of the formula we have observed that radius and phi are the two variables. So, so if we know the basic data radius and deflection angle of the curve then we can calculate tangent length, long pod, axon ordinate, middle ordinate and also the length of the simple circular highway curve. So this is all from this video. I hope you have understood the concept behind calculating the different lengths in a simple circular curve. Thank you for watching this video.